Nathan, don't just hold it. <laughs> Put it on, man. All right, all right. It's a medal, baby. You're a gold yeah. medal winner. Look at that. I love it. How does it feel? It looks good on you. It's heavy, it's cool. <laughs> it is heavy. It's heavy, it's cool. What would you sell it for? Oh, I don't know. I looked it up as like 800 bucks, I think. <laughs> well, for raw material, it's like 800. 800 bucks? Sentimental bucks? value is probably higher. Would you take yeah. seven? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'd love you to do? Sell it to like Offset from, <laughs> from Migos. <laughs> and just see him sort of just jazz that whole thing up. And then, yeah. like, I think then it would, then I think the price would go through the roof. Every, every rapper would be like, you're nothing until you've got an Olympic gold medal. That's it. That's it. Yeah. I mean, Will, you're Canadian. You, yeah. you played a lot of ice hockey growing yeah. up. Thank yeah, you. There you go. Thank Is you. it true, for a long time, you, the only piece of art that you owned was related to figure skating? Yeah. Is this right? Yeah. I was worried that this was going to come up. I did for <laughs> many years I had in my apartment in New York, years and years ago, after the whole Tanya Harding thing. Mm. Uh, I had a New York Post uh, front page taped to the wall, and it simply said, uh, bodyguard fingers Tanya. <laughs> <laughs> and because I was a skating fan. Yeah. yeah. And I just always thought, I always thought, how hard are they laughing right now in the newsroom? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> like, kind of amazing. Yeah, we got away with it. Yeah, you know? they did. They got away with it, and someone was like, yeah, print yeah, it. Yeah, print it. Print, print it. it. Are we allowed to say that, Nick? Are we allowed to say that someone fingered someone? <laughs> well, he... Contextually... He, yeah, villain. he fingered. Yeah, there was just... You have to be a little careful. <laughs> you have to... I'm always careful when I'm <laughs> Nick. You know this. <laughs> This is kind of like a PSA now. This is <laughs> basically, that's what it is. Yeah. But I've never, this is the closest I've ever come to an actual uh, Olympic medal, which is pretty impressive. Yeah, it really is a great, I mean, Nathan, everything about your performance you. at the Olympics was electrifying. It was so incredible. Yeah. Yeah. So, you did yeah. so yeah. really well. I want to talk to you about the, the music that you chose, because sure. I loved it. In the free skate, mm -hmm. you skated to a medley of Elton John songs. Yep. How did you do, what, what made you decide on going with Elton? This program was actually done like two years ago and it was done by my choreographer, Marie France, out in Montreal. She is like the coach of like 11 different ice dance teams at this right. Olympics. Um, and she just gave me, at the time, Rocket Man just came out and she was like, hey, like watch this movie, see what you think. And I loved it, I loved the music. Like skating for me, especially like when you're halfway through a program, you're tired, like I need or music that like brings energy and Elton John was perfect for that. It really is great. So do you have any, can you really choose, are there any restrictions on what music you can choose? Generally, yes, although one of my friends just got sued at the last games for skating to someone's music, which no. we did not happen to Wait. unfortunately yet. No. Wait, who was the band out there right now? I don't even you remember. remember. Okay. You're gonna have to look it up, but yeah, it's, it was shame ridiculous. Them. No, I wanna shame them if we Ian's, could, but... Ian's looking it up. <laughs> don't worry, guys, Ian's on it. He's looking it up. So, are you already thinking now, like, oh, this would be a cool thing to skate to in the next Olympics. When does that start to come into your mind? I mean, I think for me, the most important thing is that we train these programs every day, so like, it has to be something that you like to listen to, or else after like two months, you're gonna just be like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel this, but yeah, I mean, yeah, as it goes for the Olympics, yeah. For me, it's just, I have to love it, and that's kind of it. Any thoughts? What would you want to skate to? Oh, man, I would love to hear some suggestions. <laughs> I mean, I know you're... I think you should do, like, like, um, like you know, move, bitch, get out of the way. <laughs> yeah, I'd love that. It'd be sensational, wouldn't it? Yeah, it'd be good. Or you could go, like, classic more. You could do, like, Enter Sandman, obviously. That's <laughs> a... yeah. Or anything from the Rush catalog, if you want to go, like... <laughs> Tom Sawyer or something. Yeah, yeah. You know? Full Rush would be unbelievable. Or closer to the heart. Closer to the heart. And then spin, you know? That's cool. Like well, that. I mean, because you have some, you have some track <laughs> history here. Because well, is, yeah, this, absolutely. is this right, Nathan, that you actually, you actually used Will's, uh, Will's <laughs> costumes from Blades <laughs> of Glory <laughs> as, a, as a touch point? I mean, talk to me, Will. Talk to me about this spandex. <laughs> How... <laughs> This is the one. This is the best one. The hip hop. <laughs> this is just unbelievable. <laughs> How, what was it like wearing spandex all day? How forgiving is that spandex? Not very. And I'll say this. We were in Montreal as well, skating. We did a, uh, Will Ferrell and I shot this whole out, uh, chase scene outside wearing spandex, and it was like 40 below. And I thought, well, I'll just put long underwear on. But I, I'm not very smart, and long underwear doesn't protect against the wind. 
So put it, put it this way. When I saw that story last week about that Norwegian cross-country skier, yes, I got it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, because he did. His d froze. Yeah, right? his d froze. Yeah. He froze. Hang on one second. Can we say his d froze in the same <laughs> sentence as finger? Can we not say that? Sorry, Nick. How should I say it? Wait, you can I... say that he had a frozen penis. Okay. <laughs> but I can't say well, he had but... a can't say he had a frozen. D I can say don't. <laughs> okay. I can tell you, don't be a dick, but you can't say. But you can't oh, say. you can't be a dick. So I can say, well, yes. So basically, so, you can't say he knew it was frozen because he <laughs> his. <laughs> I'm asking for a friend who happens to be me. Yeah. Uh, you imagine that having a frozen. No. <laughs> I mean, imagine having a frozen penis. Yeah. I mean, for dinner. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what the question is. Let me just say, let me just, <laughs> let me just say though, I did. We did Blades of Glory. It was a lot of fun, and I, we realized how hard it is. What you have you ever seen Blades of Glory? I have, film? of course. Yeah, inspiration. Was it an, it's inspiration? an inspiration? It was an inspiration. Okay, you're done. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we could go ahead and put my, if I was really an inspiration, we could, a smaller <laughs> font, but if you want to put my name on there. Fair enough. Just that so we shared it or yeah. whatever. Uh, I can, but what, you know what I was, I was gonna say was doing that movie, uh, you know, it was a movie. So like you do, you shoot in little bits and then like exhausted. And then knowing what these guys do, it's insane. the athleticism is so off the charts, and it's uh, it's really amazing what you did, and I'm in <laughs> awe of what it you really did. It really is. It really, really. is. I mean, honestly, I'm in awe of anyone who can skate and let go of the side. So what you do <laughs> is sort of beyond my comprehension, and you're about to hit the road. You're performing in Stars on Ice this spring. Tell us about the show. That's what can awesome. people expect from the show? Yeah, it's super cool. I mean, it's the whole U.S. Olympic team. Um, we get to come together. It's really celebratory for us. You know, we just, like, have fun with this tour. And it's cool because we are able to perform in places that I don't think skating would go to, or we wouldn't really see ourselves end up there if not for this tour. Yeah. Um, not that skating doesn't exist in these locations, but, you know, it's just cool to be able to have all of us there at once. Um, just, yeah, a lot of fun. It's going to be great. Yeah. Now, if we're talking of touring, Will, you just finished a nationwide tour yes. with Jason Bateman and Sean Hayes from your Smartless podcast. Yeah. Which you've been on. Arguably the high point. Uh, I think that was the one that got the Amazon deal. When, yeah. when, when James it came on. It was very on. coincidental that mine came out and then you got $80 million. But carry on. <laughs> I will say, James came on and he asked if he could read ads with us. Yeah. Which was, do you remember that? Auto you were the zone. first <laughs> auto zone. Get in the zone with AutoZone. <laughs> you were my the... favorite bit of the show. It's my favorite bit of the show. I actually scroll through the show and I just listen to the AutoZone ads. It's Are we allowed to say that? Yeah. No? <laughs> Are we allowed to say anything? <laughs> but how was the tour? The tour it, it must have been incredible. The tour was amazing. We, yeah, we went, we did a bunch of cities and we had we had such a, we were so surprised because you know, it was a podcast tour. I wouldn't go to a podcast tour, so I don't know why. But I would with you three. You're, you're very, very famous and very brilliant together. I understand why well, anyone would want we, to watch it. We get lucky sometimes, and we, we had a couple great shows, I will say. And, but, and we also shot the whole thing. We shot a documentary and a special that's coming out later this year of all the shows and, and behind the scenes. And then we go to Chicago, and we're doing this uh, Q&A with, with a bunch of people. And every person, all these women would get up to the microphones and say, Jason, I've loved you since Silver Spoons. You're my boyfriend. My husband doesn't know, but you're my boyfriend. And then the next woman would get up and go, I don't know who that lady is, but you're my boyfriend. <laughs> and they're like, it had like five times in a row. And then Sean and I were left there and I said, finally, I go, well, this is great. I guess everybody's just here as Jason's girlfriend. And out of the back, some woman just yells, oh, you will. <laughs> Surely we can say that. <laughs> and now, I, Nathan, you, you're yeah. currently <laughs> enrolled at Yale. Good. You took a leave of absence, of course, to focus on the Olympics. How excited are you to go back? What did you find you missed most about college life? Yeah, I'm really excited to go back. Um, 
it's just a completely different life. You know, I grew up skating, and skating was kind of it. And so going to school, just, you know, being able to be a, a college kid for a bit was, was really fun. Are you going to go back and be like, oh, what did you guys get up to? I <laughs> won a gold medal. What did you do? <laughs> That's what I would, I would immediately do it. I'd be like, what did you do? Oh, you went home. Oh, you got a temp job. Cool. Yeah. I won a gold medal. <laughs> no? I don't think so. Right. Yeah, don't. Don't. It could backfire. It yeah. could backfire. You could alienate a lot of people. <laughs> But there is a way to drop it in there, like if you're with your friends, like at a restaurant, if, you know, and then you're like, hey, we got to pay the bills here, and then just pull out your gold medal. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what you Sorry. should do. Sorry, it's in my other pocket. Sorry, it's in my wallet. Yeah, right? that's, a, that's, that's 100 percent a move you should It's try. only 800 bucks, though, so I don't know how much it's going to carry me. No, Dude, it's the, <laughs> stop thinking of the yeah, value. It's, it's a value. gold medal. Yeah, I'm <laughs> now, Will, let's talk about Murderville. Yeah. Huge show on Netflix. <laughs> For anyone who hasn't caught up with it, tell us what it's about, who you play. Uh, Murder, it's, you know, we, we borrowed it from uh, an English format. They originally called Murder and Successful, the brilliant Tom Davis. Yeah. Who, yeah, he's a great guy. Incredible. And he, he allowed us to bring it over, and he partnered with us and produced it with us. So we took the sort of the main conceit, which is I play a cop, Terry Seattle, uh, and he's a uh, hard-nosed cop. And it's kind of like, imagine every episode, I bring on a new guest a uh, uh, homicide trainee who's my partner, and they have no, no lines, no dialogue, they don't know what's happening, and we have to go and solve a murder. And we find a body, we, we interrogate uh, suspects, talk to the medical examiner, and then they have to decide who it was who killed the person. And it's completely improvised. So we have an idea, I have a script and I know where we're going, but then they come on and they're improvising and then I'm improvising and then all hell breaks loose. And it's, and it's pretty nuts. And we weren't sure if it w would work. I mean, you know, Sharon Stone at one point was holding a, a scalpel uh, over a dead body. And I a thought, real scalpel? Yeah, and I thought she might murder somebody. And, um, <laughs> and I, I shouldn't let that happen, you know? Oh. No. Yeah. yeah. So there was a, it was just a high wire act all the time, but it was so fun. But well, the show is absolutely brilliant, and you as ever are fantastic in it.